Right, OK. Um, Jesse J is about to play Innuendo Bingo. You can watch in a minute. I will... <laughs> Hi, love! Come on in. Hello. You're, you're right, sorry. Last minute. You're I'm right? a bit tall. I have to bend down. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. Now, last time I interviewed you, there was an expensive candle burning next to us, right in your dressing room there. I know you always have that special yeah. candle. The pomegranate the pomegranate one. Pomegranate noir. Yeah. Jane Malone. Uh, now, the only aroma in here now is some slightly minging uh, plastic, plastic sheets. Uh, it's What's a bit... it been for? Oh, that's just for show. Yeah, it's more... Explain the rules, Chris. Well, it's it's quite simple. So we both just take some water in our mouths, and right. then if you find it funny, you'll spit the water out. Can't wait. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar <laughs> with this game. I'm... I've just watched some. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, how are you feeling? I feel good. I did just have some um, crisps. Yes. So I just had some chewing gum, so you don't oh, get right. like... Oh, that's very, that's that's very really, ladylike. That's really that doesn't always happen, you. yeah. <laughs> so um, Bang Bang is a massive song. Thank you so much. Um... Did you and Ariana and Nikki actually meet, or have you never met before? Did you actually get together to record it? No, we didn't uh, record it at the same time. We met for the first time when it was at number one on iTunes in the US at the <laughs> music video on set. Right. So it was like That's the a bit most, weird, because like, we've weird, already made a song. It was like a party. Yeah. But the thing is, the song, um, Max Martin sent it to me and was like, I'd love you to record this, and I was like, um an honour. Yeah. So I went in the studio, changed some stuff, put my lyrics down, put my vocals down, and then he was like, Ariana wants to jump on it. This is a moment. You know, you should make this a moment. So the song lends itself to that. So she jumped on the second verse, and then Nikki heard it um, once in the studio and was like, can I jump on this today? I love it. I like so that. it wasn't like even people... like, we didn't even ask anybody. People just heard it and wanted to... <laughs> So, I, hope, I mean, we should have to stop playing it to people, otherwise it would have been like... <laughs> Me too, please. A 20, like people performance but yeah so how does it work max martin so i've i've learned about max martin this is the guy that makes all the legend like, ev all, max like, is massive like massive amazing secret, pop like pop god He's incredible and he'll just contact you and just say i've got this song you must well, be he thinking basically, yes well no he basically said i've got this song and you're the person i want to sing it and that that is like an honor in itself yeah i want that phone call yeah um, it's not <laughs> um, and then he also sent me the second single burning up yeah yeah which we co-wrote so i'm like it's, it's wicked happy days do you have to go to see him in sweden no I oh, he actually... lives in america now no, 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 I don't. No, he lives in America. Oh, I think he said I live in America. No, he lives in LA, yes. Right, OK. Um, but I actually recorded this album with one person in four and a half, five weeks, and I didn't meet any of the producers, any of the writers, apart from one set of writers for one song that flew to London. But I literally did this in such a different way. Mm. Um, it was a very quick process and actually really worked for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so new album, when is it coming out? 13th of October. Right, soon. Very soon, like three and a half weeks. Yeah. What's Ariana like? Because you hear a so lot of sweet. stories of her being a diva. Not at all. She's the sweetest. Is she? So sweet. She's um, she's young and she's got a lot of pressure on her shoulders, you know. It's hard. Mm. I think people realise, until you live it, it's so easy for people to, to say stuff. But there's such a thin line between diva and survival. And sometimes when you're being expected to work 18 hour days and your food isn't ready, sometimes you have to put your foot down. And I don't mean that she did. I just mean in general. And so people can be like, oh, she's a diva. It's like, no, I just need to stay sane and stay healthy. So I think... Um, I think she's amazing. She's hilarious. Hilarious. Like, <laughs> had me in stitches and it's hard. I'm one of those people that is it's hard to make me laugh. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Like, like, genuinely. Well. <laughs> no, like, genuinely. Like, no, I'm... No, no, I'm fine. I'm just... Like, it's hard to make Someone that actually makes me laugh. Like, properly. She properly crack me up. And she yeah. sings all the time. She's wicked. Yeah. Hey, they've just announced um, Rita Ora is the new coach on The Voice. Yes, they have. Um, I just think, found out this morning. Do you think that's a good move for her? Um, I think she's going to be super entertaining. Um, I think anyone that's met her, she's a very charismatic person. So I think she'll be really fun for the show. But with regards to coaching, I think it's a personal... It's a personal thing, so yeah. I'm excited to see how how she coaches. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you, like do you you do you miss your time on that show? I do. Yeah, yeah. I do miss it. I um I loved. I care so much about technique and breathing and and like singing is my life. I dedicate so much of my of my life to making sure that I'm good enough to sing as much as I can and give everything in every show. So that's why I enjoyed giving the artists because that's what they're on the show to find out. Mm. That's what they're on the show to learn. So I do miss that part of it because I really love to like give. I'm a very, like I like to help people yeah. in, in that nicest way of saying that. But no, I, I do miss it and I, I miss um, Tom the most. Really? Why? Why Tom? Out of He's all of so them? so sweet. Yeah. Tom is like the nicest 
person. I think I've one of the nicest people I've probably met in this industry. Whoa. Is it hard to? Has Rita got a bit of a job on her hands? Is it hard? Is, is it a lot of work? It's very hard because people are looking to you to guide them in probably one of the most important moments of their <clears throat> excuse me career mm. so it's very tiring especially if she's going to be doing what i did which is still working and doing stuff around it which i'm sure she will because she doesn't stop yeah um i wasn't so, i never believed that that's really how it worked though that you do invest so much of your own personal time i, I think was you the do, first you... one there and the last one to leave obviously the papers said differently however um my contestants that never said a bad word um knew that I cared. I used to bring my own suitcases of clothes for them because I didn't like the styling sometimes. Um, <laughs> Did you? Know? you? Yes. You just dress them up Against yourself. Real. No, I was like, have these shoes I've only worn once. Like, genuinely. That's brilliant. Yeah, we'd share wigs when I wore wigs. Um, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> but no, I still talk to them now. I just spoke to Ash the other day and he was like, I invited him to iTunes. I always invite them to stuff and, yeah. you know, and just like to see how they're doing. Vince is doing well. Matt's doing well. You know, he's about to put out an EP. So, yeah, it's important. Like, you have to invest time and you have to care. So I just, I just, yeah, I just hope that she's got time to give time. Mm. Right, okay, so we're going to play Bang Bang, Jessie J, Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj, massive tune on Radio 1. And then we're going to try and make Jessie J laugh with some innuendos on Innuendo Bingo. This is definitely one that you need to watch today. <laughs> get on the Radio 1 website now. Anywhere you can get to a screen, put it on the Radio 1 website, computer, on your phone, on your TV, wherever, and we'll do it next. BBC Radio 1, Jesse J, Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, and Bang Bang. Jesse J has uh, just been showing us her water trick. That's right, she can sing with water in her mouth. Do we do it? Yeah, do it again. It's, it's okay. actually amazing. Oh, it's water. All right. Okay, here we go. She got a body like an hourglass. I can give it to you all the time. Oh. Yeah. I used to do this on auditions back in the day, but I discovered I could do it because I could never shut up as a kid. So even at the dinner table, my dad would say something, or I'd say something. So I'd want to talk and I'd, I'd drink, so I'd teach myself. But it's harder than it, it seems. Like, how I just to hold it. my water in my mouth and talk. My dad hates it when I do this. So bang, 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 bang. I'm talking about like Orville, the duck. I mean, it's incredible to watch. That little green duck. <laughs> Orville. <laughs> bang, bang. That's, that's brilliant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's quite a lot of water in there as well. <laughs> yeah, look. It, it makes you have quite an intense face as well. Yeah. Like a fish. Yeah, face of fish. <laughs> if you want to go online, it's uh, you can see all this. Be